Welcome to MathLab. Today, you're on your journey to discover how to solve word problems in addition and subtraction of decimals using models. A decimal is a fraction whose denominator is a power of 10. Today, you're provided with many 10 by 10 grids and a lab observation sheet. Observe your 10 by 10 grid carefully. There are 100 small squares in this grid. If I color one square, what does it represent? It represents 1 by 100, that is 0 0.01. If I color 10 squares, it represents 10 out of 100, that is 0 0.10 or 0 0.1. Can you identify the decimal in this picture? I have colored 22 squares. So my decimal is 22 by 100, that is 0 0.22. What does this picture represent? Is it not 100 by 100? That is 1. So the entire 10 by 10 grid represents 1. Let us consider the following problem. 3 parcels weigh 1.2 kgs, 1.34 kgs, and 0.45 kgs respectively. Find the total weight of the three parcels. Using your models, how will you solve this problem? To represent 1.2 on your grid, shade one whole grid and 20 squares on the other grid using any one color. So right here I have 1.2. Now I need to represent 1.34 on this grid. So I will shade 100 squares to represent 1 and 34 more squares using any other color. So right here I have 1.34 shaded in green. Now using a third color represent 0.45 by shading 45 more squares. So right here I have shaded 45 squares in red. So what is the total weight of these parcels? Is it not? 2 whole squares plus 99 by 100 or 2.99 kgs. Now you can also work this problem by physically adding all the weights. That is 1.2, you will write it as 1.20 so that all the decimals are like decimals. The second weight is 1.34. And the third weight is 0 0.45. So adding the three weights we get 2.99 kgs. Let us consider another problem. What must be added to 1.28 to get 2.47? First represent 2.47 on your grid by taking three grids. Shade two whole grids and 47 squares with any one color. So right here I have shaded 2.47. Now remove 1.28 from the grid to, so that you can find the number that needs to be added. To remove 1.28 shade one whole grid and 28 squares of another grid in any other color. Now Count the number of balance squares. We have 119 squares. So the decimal is 119 by 100, 1.19. So if we add 1.19 to 1.27 to 8, we will get 2.47. This can also be shown as the larger number is 2.47 the smaller number is 1.28 you can find the difference remember 8 is smaller than 7 in the hundredths place so you will borrow from the tenths house 17 minus 8 gives us 9 3 minus 2 is 1 2 minus 1 is 1 remember to read your problems well before solving, have fun discovering word problems in addition and subtraction.